I want to use this video to show you a really cool command in Autodesk Fusion 360. Now, if you don't use link components in your assembly, this video is not for you. It, but if you do, it's a wonderful tool. This is the finished assembly, and this end bearing mount, you'll see right here, is fully joined into it, and everything works just fine. But I find that I need to make a modification to this bearing. But it would be a real pain to have to take it out of the assembly, build my new part, bring it back in, and rejoin it. So watch this tool command. It's so, so neat. So I'll find the bearing. There it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and right click and say save as and replace. So I picked that. Now you can put it in any folder you want within the current project. You can't go between projects, but you can go to different folders. Notice it picks up the name of the assembly and the bearing and just puts it together. I'm going to make it a totally different name called custom bearing. And I'll put it in the same folder just for convenience. You can put it anywhere you want except on another project. So you notice when I hit save, it replaces that bearing. And now I'm going to right click on that and open it up as a link component. And I'm going to do a quick change. I'm just going to get rid of that cut out right there just to make a real quick change. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm then going to save it. I'm going to leave it open, but I'm going to go back to my assembly, and you can see now it needs to be updated. So it updates that one I just changed. Now we have a brand new component in place. By the way, all the joints have been maintained in this model. You don't have to rejoin it. It's all in place. It did not vary that at all. Now, if you made a change where you got rid of some surface or a hole, then you would have to do something about it. But as it is, it goes back in perfectly. So, if you do use link components, which that's all I really do, and most people coming from traditional CAD programs do use link components, it's a marvelous tool. Try it out. I hope this helps your Autodesk Fusion 360 modeling.